What's going on guys, it's Shmurda Mods here, aka The Alumni, and today I'm just coming at you guys with a quick tutorial on how to uh, get unlimited plugins uh, for your RGH or JTAG, because um, you know a lot of people, there's a ton of stuff out now, and you know a lot of people want to use a bunch of stuff at once and load it all up, but they just don't have enough plugin space uh, to be able to do that. And today I'm going to show you guys how to do that, and so you guys can have all the mods you want set up correctly now what you're gonna need is you're gonna want to need an xbox 360 neighborhood if you have a jtag or rgh this day and age you probably already have it uh but if not definitely gonna want to get that uh this is more meant for people who have their jtag online which most people do nowadays um but it still works offline you can still use a usb to transfer the files over so what you're going to want to do is go into the description and download the file that I provided. It's uh, going to take you to a Mediafire link and it's going to be called Plugin Crap. Uh, you're going to want to download it, open it up. You're going to want to drag this to the desktop. I already have it there, uh, but I will replace it anyways. And once you have it extracted, um, you're going to open it up and you're going to want to take out, um, you're going to edit the launch INI. And once you have it, you're going to scroll down and right here, this is where you start editing. You're going to want to put your uh, stealth server there. So, for example, if it were me, I'd put ninja.xex. Now, just a you know quick uh, FYI. I don't know why people think this, but I've seen on some forums like Seven Sins, uh, people you know typing in you know plugins and then putting on their JTAG and nothing happens. Well, you have to have that actual file in the root of your HDD. So if I put ninja there and I don't have the ninja.xcx in my root of my hard drive, then it's it's just useless. Nothing can happen. Um, I don't know why why that's even a thing. I mean, that just makes no sense. It's 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 it com should be common sense uh, for people to you know to, for people to think that you know you can't just type it out and it magically goes there, but. Yeah, if it's in there, just type it in, and you can edit that way for plugin file, and then keep these the same. XBDM always first, and, uh, style server always second, and then leave RPC and JRPC two there for three and four. Plugin five, you can add whatever you want. You can just type it out. Uh, HDD backslash, and then I don't know. Xe cheats dot xex. If you want to do something like that. Uh, once you have whatever you want in there, leave it. This is not where you add the extra plugins. You just want to leave it there, click File, and save it. I'm not going to because I've already done this. So you would just save it, and it would appear right here. And then you can just drag it to your desktop after. And then you want to go ahead and edit the jrpc.ini. Now, this is where you can add as many plugins as you want. Uh, so, for example, leave the xrpc and jrpc. So these are all your main plugins that you need. So here, for example, if you wanted to add the destruction v1 mod menu plugin you would go for uh, you'd hit enter and you'd hit tab and you would just start typing just copy it word for word uh, just change the number every time so that would be three and then four and then five and then so on plugin um, that and then tab again and then just copy the same thing out every time dd Thanks, and then I would do destruction. V1 dot dot xcx. Or what am I doing? Yeah, no, just like that, and then end it with the uh, colon uh, or quotations. So, and then that's that. If you want to add another one, enter tab. You just tab it over to get where you need to be. File, save that when you're done, and you'll have two fo two files. This one and this one and you just want to drag them to your desktop um, and then you just want to put it on a USB or your or uh, you can do it through neighborhood just put it on the root of your eight root of your HDD and uh, you're all set and once that ha once you've done that uh, turn off your console boot it right back up to finalize it and you're all set to go um, so yeah um, just a quick disclaimer if your console has any problems if it gets stuck at the boot screen if you can't connect your stealth server remove some plugins because there is if you try to load up too many things your your jtag will run out of like memory it's called and you'll get a lot of fatal crashes and it'll freeze all the time so if that happens just remove some plugins and you'll you should be fine 
um, you know, it, you can't load too many on there. Um, it's just it's just how it is. Um, with some people, you can put a ton on there and it still works. Um, I put a ton on there and it worked for a while, and then it started acting up a little bit. So I removed uh, probably one or two plugins at most, and it was fine. Um, so if it, if you have any problems like that, don't worry about it. It's it's just a plugin issue. And if you need any help, hit me up on AIM. Uh, leave a comment for me, you know, anything like that, and I'll help you guys out. Uh, so yeah, that's it guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully this helps you out and uh, Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out